drive with me as I take a tour of the Pueblo Village in Summerlin, zip code 89128. We're, it's a very small village, so we're just going to take a quick drive through to show you what this village looks like. This is the only village in the 89128 zip code, and it is one of the original Summerlin villages developed in 1992. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this drive through tour. So to get to the Pueblo village, we're going to take um, Lake Mead and we're heading west off of Lake Mead and we're going to take a left off of Pueblo Vista. This village is located between Lake Mead and Vegas and Buffalo and Rampart. There's several different ways of entering this village, but I'm entering it through the Pueblo Vista. To the right and left is where you could enter the Pueblo Park and then the walking trail. And to the left is also Richard H. Bryan Elementary School. To the right is a Lutheran church. Across the way on the right now is St. Elizabeth and Seton Catholic Church, which also has a private Catholic school. And I do believe it's from pre-K to eighth grade. The Pueblo Village is the third village developed by Howard Hughes, and it was developed in 1992. Um, the first village was the hills, the hill south, and then the Pueblo village. Um, it is also part of the Summerlin North Community Association. So I'm going to take a right right here on Vegas Drive, and I'm going to turn around and we're going to get back on Cielo Vista, and then tour the rest of the village. It's really not that big of a village. It's about 568 acres, which is not big at all. Straight ahead is Rampart, and we're taking a right on Cielo Vista. This village again is part of the 89128 zip code, and it's the only Summerlin village in this zip code. Most of the homes here in the Pueblo are Pueblo-style architecture. They're single and multi-family neighborhoods, including condos, townhomes, single-family homes, and semi-custom homes. Many of the residents have peaceful views of the Green Belt, which is a walking trail. And it's about a, a 3.7 mile walking trail in the Pueblo Village, which is beautiful. And it goes in between the Pueblo Park. There are several gated communities in here, and there's about, I want to say maybe 11 to 15 different subdivisions. I can't remember offhand. I've actually lived in this village for seven years, and I really, really enjoyed it. I lived in a division, subdivision called Sedona. Lived there for seven years um, in that subdivision. And actually, we lived in Bonita Canyon for the first year renting a home, and then back in 2009, when that market crashed, we bought a home here in the Pueblo Village. And the good thing is, is that you still have access to all the Summerlin amenities. The St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic Church, that's to the right, you really can't see it. It's a very popular Catholic church here in the valley. Um, typically on Sundays, that it's just crazy busy over here. Um, to the left is Richard H. Bryan Elementary School, and both of my children attended that elementary school. My daughter went there from kindergarten 
10th through 5th grade and my son was there from 1st through 5th grade and it was nice school. They can walk to school from where we lived. Some folks choose to live in this neighborhood because of the Pueblo Park. It's a hidden gem and the park spans over about 60 acres in total and it's filled with the grassy areas, interpretive garden, playground, basketball hoops, water stations, barbecue and areas, shady spots, picnic pavilions, um, also a nice little restroom area. It's a great little park. I used to take my kids there all the time when they were little. It was so easy to walk to. I love this community. And then again, they have the popular walking trail that actually is from Buffalo all the way to Rampart. And that trail is beautiful with the desert landscaping. You can walk, hike, jog, whatever, you name it, cycle. Um, it's open for whatever you want to do. So I'm taking it right back on Pueblo Vista. If you want to learn more about this village, I have done a video um, on YouTube about it, so you can click on the link. I'll probably provide it down below in the description. Right now I'm taking a left in the Sedona subdivision. This is the subdivision I used to live in. And the nice feature about this subdivision, which I really like, is that it has, um, the homes on the left have the overlook to the green belt, and then also you have access to the trails from this subdivision. And there's a couple of other subdivisions that have access to the trails, which is cool. You don't have to go anywhere. You can just leave from your home and head straight to the trails, which is really nice. And my parents actually still live in this subdivision. It's a really great community. Another school that's in here is the Meadows School, which is a private school from pre-K through 12th grade, and it's a highly sought-after private school. I will drive by it real quick, and that will conclude our tour of the Pueblo Village. It's a very small village, but I hope you've learned something about this village. So to the left right there is the Meadows School, private school. And this road will take me to Rampart. Um, if you want to learn more about the Pueblo Village, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112. Again, I've also posted a link to a YouTube video about this village where I go into greater detail about it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a good one, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour. If you have any questions about this village, leave a comment down below. I also did a video on the Pueblo last year. The link is above. Um, it's a wonderful village. I actually lived in this village for seven years and I thoroughly enjoyed living in this village. It's part of Summerlin North Association. Anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys on our next village drive through or zip code drive through Next, I'm going to be doing 89134 zip code, which entails the Trails Village, the Hills Village, Hills South Village, and then also Sun City Summerlin, which Sun City Summerlin will probably have a separate video to it. As always, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything that this wonderful Las Vegas Valley has to offer. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.